Well, Jerome, we're here in Semple Stadium. A uh, huge final round of uh, round robin fixtures in the Munster Senior Hurling Championship and Limerick and Tipperary to whet the appetite at 2 o'clock. Uh, I suppose interesting team selection from John Kiley. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, the team selection certainly raised a few eyebrows, you know, uh, to be able to leave Declan Hannon, Keane Lynch, Graham Mulcahy, and uh, uh, who else did we leave out of it? Gerard Hegarty, out of your starting team, you know. Um, I suppose it's the big talking point, you know, is it a show of confidence in the panel or, you know, the supporters saying, you know, do Limerick want to be in a Munster final, you know, do they want to be in that third place and, and go the route we went last year, maybe playing a, a Leash or West Meath in the next round. But I, I do think it's probably a show of confidence in the team, you know, they, they have um, they have rotated the players in the previous rounds. I think an awful lot of it is down to keeping guys fresh. Keen Lynch had, had played every minute of every game so far in the championship. You know, it gives him a chance. He's on the bench if needed. Declan Hannon is probably the one, you know, he's not amongst the substitutes. So time will tell him, you know, we'll get a chance to talk to the manager afterwards to see if Declan is, is carrying an injury or picked up a knock in training. Big opportunity for the four guys coming into the side, obviously, today to put their hand up, show John Kiley and the selectors, uh, you know, what they're made of and with a view to uh, future championship games. Yeah, certainly. You know, Dara Donovan and, and uh, Dan Morris who come into the team, they've both started already in the championship, so, you know, they're part of this rotation. I think for Shane Dowling and Seamus Flanagan in, in, in particular, you know, it's their first start to the championship. They'll really want to put down a marker. Seamus Flanagan, you know, All Ireland full forward last year, nominee for Young Hurler of the Year. He's been out of the starting lineup for the last five games now since the league quarter final. He'll want to show, you know, what he can do today. Um, maybe, you know, in mind of trying to be on the team for, you know, maybe a Munster final or an All Ireland quarter final. Both teams obviously had, you know, big wins over Waterford and Clare. I suppose Tip beat Cork first day out. Uh, Limerick beaten by Cork, obviously in the Gaelic Crowns. Today will be a real test, I suppose, as to where two teams are at. And given Galway's failure to come through in Leinster last night in the round robin, you know, both teams will want to put down a marker today, won't they, that they are genuine contenders. And I suppose the fact Galway surprisingly didn't advance, it's, it's opened up the championship. Yeah, it certainly has. You know, as we stand here, you know, Galway, uh, Waterford are, are out of the championship, you know, you know, by four o'clock today, another side is going to be out of the championship, and uh, you know it's really getting down to the, the business end of things. I think Liam Sheedy and John Kiley would love a right good crack off of each other this afternoon to to really test out and see. You know, big wins for for Limerick over over Clare and Watford. While they're great and, and we love them and all that, and Limerick were really on their game, you, you'd love a test as well. You know, you just want to see. You know, if you're put on the back foot again, how will you respond? And uh, I think we're going to get that today. And I think Liam Sheedy would want that from a Tipperary point of view as well. You know, they've they've had a couple of you know straightforward enough wins, and uh, you know they're all but in the Munster final. I think he'd love a good crack today for Limerick to, to bring their best and and to see you know if there's any weaknesses in his side and and likewise for John Kiley, You know. There's a tantalising prospect of these teams perhaps meeting three times in the championship over the next two months. It's 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 a real possibility, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. You know, I mean, the the, the scenarios are, are many in terms of what can happen. You know, with the two games between Torles and Ennis today, but you know, a Limerick Tipperary Munster final in the LIT Gaelic grounds in two weeks' time is very very possible. And you know, is that maybe somewhere in the thinking of John Kiley in leaving? You know, for me, what is maybe four of his top five or six players out of the starting lineup today uh, perhaps that's his thinking perhaps it's just all this freshness and, and keeping guys on their toes but uh, you know you just wonder when it comes to making substitutions and, and different aspects of the game does Liam Sheedy and John Kiley and the varying management teams do, would thoughts drift to maybe a potential final in two weeks time we don't know but what we do know is when, when players go out in the field they don't really tend to, to look beyond the 70 minutes and they certainly don't want to lose any game when they're out in the field a lot of slow pots, interesting team selection from Limerick. How would you call it? I've been really impressed with how, how Limerick have responded to the Cork defeat. And I, from speaking from players and management, you can really, really see they don't want to have that taste of defeat again. I, I've seen them really, really focused in, in the last couple of weeks. Their work rate is back to, to top notch as it was last year. They're playing some lovely hurling. I, I think they will see today as a real big, big test for them, and I expect them to put in a, a, a top performance. I, I, you know, coming to Turles and winning is never easy. I, I just got the feeling this one's going to go right down to the wire, and maybe those substitutions, if Limerick are to use Mulcahy, Hegarty, Keane Lynch down the home straight, maybe they can make the difference and Limerick can win.
how much of a psychological advantage would it be to either side to win today if they meet again in two weeks' time? Yeah, it, it depends how, how you lose. You know, if you perform and lose and you go toe to toe for 70 odd minutes, you know, you take a lot of positives from it. And, you know, maybe going into a Munster final against the same opposition again with a defeat sometimes wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, you know, in terms of motivation. But, uh, I, I, I think both teams would want to date on a marker today, especially for the, the weekends that we're after having, you know, with the way the Leinster Championship's gone and Galway crashing out and, you know, Dublin, the new kids on the block now. I think these two teams would want to put down a marker again that, look, we're, we're still here, remember us. Cheers, Ron. Thank you.